So this can be called a block diagram of a bidirectional, 4-bit bidirectional shift register. So of course when the right shift is, these are the four outputs and these are the inputs there. So as we discussed in a previous video, it can have four operations depending on the select pins, S0, S1. Uh, they can be hold, that is the data will be hold with the next clock, nothing will change at output. They can be right shift, right shift means Q3 goes to Q2, Q2 goes to Q1, Q1 goes to Q0 and shift right serial will come here. And then it can have left shift, that means Q0 goes to Q1, Q1 goes to Q2, Q2 goes to Q3 and SLSCR comes to Q0. So I've discussed that before, but now we'll try to implement this using uh, Opal Junior program and using a, so the Opal Junior program will be used to program a GAL chip and the GAL we will use, I will show, actually I won't, we won't be able to demonstrate, it's just uh, GAL 16V8, it's a 20 pin IC and this is the pin diagram from the data sheet so this pin is reserved for clock and this is ground this is VCC here and these are the input these can be used as input there are eight inputs and these are the outputs that can be these are the ones that can be used as input or output so they can be used as both so the connection will be something like this one it's just wired so we are using these pins say these ones this is the IC here so this will pin this is the notch there which is this side and the pins are like one two three four like that and these are the output pins so one to ten here and then similarly eleven to twenty here eleven to twenty there so these are the inputs all the inputs there as we can see these are the inputs S these are all inputs S the select pins SL SCR and SL uh, SR SCR the ground there and these are the outputs so of these like this one now how to program this chip first we have to write the program in Opal Junior program so if we remember the Opal Junior bit first we will have the first line as the header which can be anything just description of the what the program is trying to do it can be like that then it comes the declaration block and the first line of the declaration block has to start with chip chip and then there is a name and then this one is the chip that will be used so in this case it is gal 16 v8 so chip chip this is the keyword it has to be used like that and then it is any name so in this shift or it could be uh, shift register whatever and then here the name of the chip so this is the beginning of the declaration block here it starts there and then assigning pin so clock is in pin 1 as we can see here pin 1 is clock similarly SR SCR is pin 9 so that one is there it is defining it's arbitrarily it can be defined it's there there hasn't the, the, it doesn't need to have a definite order these are the D's, so the inputs, and this is also input, this is also input, and then the outputs are defined here, 12, 13, 14, 15, these ones, 12, 13, 14, 15, and this is the last bit. Yeah, the output pins are not assigned correctly here, so 12, 13, 14, 15, this will be here actually, 12, 13, 14, 15, so the, it should be, it shouldn't be like that. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. So as the pins are assigned, there uh, the connection should be made at that place. So we have to assign, we have to check that when which pins are assigned. So like that, and then the define, which is also can be written as string. It actually defines the this operation. So hold is when S1 and S0 both are zero. Then write is when S1 is zero. S 0 is 1, then S1 is 1, 0, this one is left shift and 1, 1 is load. So first this is assigned here so that it becomes easy to write in the program. 
and then as we know this one is the registered input uh, registered assign registered assignment and so q0 and that's why it's written like that and d that's the way to write the uh, registered assignment and then then if we look the hold operation so q0 when it is a uh, right shift you can see i will just uh, show here the right shift means like this one when q0 right shift means q1 should be q0 and when left shift that is slscr should be q0 so that is exactly like that it's programmed here right shift is q1 and left shift is slscr so i will actually draw here probably that will be easier so q3 q2 q1 q0 and then this is s scr and this is slscr this is the all the d's d3 to d0 so when we are talking about for q0 when we are talking about right shift with the next clock q1 should come here when we are talking about hold q0 should stay there so it's q0 when we are talking about left shift shift slscr should come here so slscr into left so when the this is uh, assigned for left shift this one should happen and when it is for load d0 should come here similarly if we think of q1 we'll use another color maybe black when q1 right shift when right shift of uh, right shift operation is happening which is right q2 should come here so that's why right is q2 right and q2 so when right shift is happening only this one is uh, valid other all uh, everything else will become zero so it will, it will not matter so when right shift is happening it will be just like that because the first term will become zero as only this one is now one so only q2 will take place and when left shift is happening q0 should come here so that's why left is q0 so when left shift is happening q1 will become q0 and when load is happening of course d1 will come here that's why d1 similarly the remaining two so like, like the third one q3 for right shift uh, this one should come here for left shift q2 should come here and that's why these are assigned like that so this is how the program will take place so whatever we make the switch uh, out of these four options only one will be valid at a time so if we want to uh, do a right shift operation s1 will be one, zero and s0 will be one and for these ones only these will be these right these terms will be one so q0 will become q1 this uh, equations will become like this q1 d will become q2 q2 d will become q3 and q3 d will become sr scr in this sr scr here so yeah exactly like that and the equations is starting here so this is up to there the declaration block is finished there and the declaration block actually is finished when equations is written so after equations the equations will come so yeah that's why and if there is any comment we want to insert any comment we use this semicolon and we can write it whatever written after the semicolon will be seen as a comment so yes just a specimen program uh, I will finish it off here